hello friends welcome to our channel and in this video we will discuss about the simple payroll or the easy payroll in excel we have certain data which includes the employee name and then we have divided the two columns into one section like r and the total number of hours in the similar way we have divided the overtime r pay per hour and the total number of hours then we simply need to cross or we simply need to make the total and then finally need to make the total of the cross pay as well so if i test the amount or if i change the amount so you can see here it changed the total cross pay of the employee and the total gross pay of the whole company this is what we learn how we create the payroll in excel but before that you are requested to like share and subscribe let's start our example we have the certain columns in which we have the data which includes the employee name and then we have some remaining empty columns like payroll hour total work then overtime hour and the overtime hour pay and the total cross pay so we need to insert certain data according to the hours and the pay to the hour and we have the overtime hours and the pay to the overtime hours and then we need to assign the total so how we can do this first we go here in the pay hour column then we assign certain hours of works that the employee has done this is our pay hour then we need to assign the total worked hours then total worked hour is 160 140 155 140 and then and then 60 this is our total worked hours in the similar way we need to assign the overtime hour amount so we use 30 40 35 30 and then 40 in this similar way we need to find out the total number of hours the person has worked so we insert the total number of hours a person worked this is how we have completed our four columns then we need to find out the total number of hours so we go here in this cell and use here equals to some bracket open then for the numbers we need to select the whole column and then bracket close and enter this is how we got the total number of hours then in this similar way we need to find out the total number of hours of overtime so we again use here equals to some bracket open and then the total number close bracket and enter but you can see here we have different formats so we simply need to select the first format and make center alignment and bold we have completed this one now we simply need to go here in the format printer and need to use this function so you can see here we got the same format that we have used here and we have got the same format by using the format painter now what we need to do we need to find out the cross pay for the cross pay we need to use a formula or we need to use the operators so i use it equals to bracket open first i go here in the pay for the r column and then multiply by total number of hours column then bracket close plus again i go over time r multiply by over time hours then close bracket and enter we got the total pay for the matthew now we simply need to drag the same formula so we got the remaining data as well but we need to change the formats so we right click on it and here you can see the format cell and in the format cell a box will appear 
and in the box we need to assign the sample so you can see here the sample i go here in the currency and here you can find the sample as well like i decrease the decimals and then press ok so you can see here we got the format as well now we need to find out the total of the cross so i again use equals to some bracket open I select the whole cross K and then close the bracket and enter. I got the amount as well. You can change the formatting of the cell as well and make it bold. This is how we have completed now. We can test our function as well. Like if I increase the payr of math from 20 to 25, so you can see the changes as well. Or if I change the amount of the overtime to half. 30 to half 15 and you can see the impact of the crossfit this is how you can create the simple payroll excel